Hello, this is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith Service doing some tool reviews. Um, I like to buy tools and I like to make sure the tools that I'm going to buy are going to last a long time. When I go to do research, I do research on the internet, I watch YouTube videos, I read blogs, I read about the tools and do a lot of research before I buy them. One of the things that I'm not finding a lot of information on out there is tools after they've been in the workforce for six months, a year, two years, five years, ten years. How are these tools holding up? So what I want to do is kind of go out and show you some of the tools that I use. For example, this Milwaukee rotary hammer. This is kind of an extreme example of tools being used for quite a while and then still going today. I think it's any tool that comes out of a package right off the shelf is going to perform. It's going to work fine. It's how does it work after it's been out in the workforce for a while? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this and a couple of different tools. We've got some behind me here uh, and some more around the shop. And hopefully that can help people make some decisions in tool buying. Number one, I don't get paid by anybody. Um, no tool place pays me. No lock provider pays me. I just give my opinion with what I work with. Um, and like I said, an extreme, an extreme example is this Milwaukee Rotary Hammer. I got this and some information on it. This was built in February of 1968. This is a catalog number 5300 Rotary Hammer, starting serial number 342-1001. And this thing is really heavy duty, super heavy duty. And it still works today, flawlessly. Um, this thing's so old, I, they don't even have a chuck. I couldn't even order a chuck board anymore, so I had to make my own. But, uh, I got a brick here. And you can just see. probably an inch and a half into there in 15 seconds or so. Um, I like the Milwaukee tools so far from my experience. It says Milwaukee on it. You're going to be right in that good zone. It's going to be a little more expensive than the cheap stuff, but you're at least going to get a good tool out of it. Uh, there's a couple exceptions where I found some better tools that did cost a lot more. Uh, they did last a little bit longer, but as far as just a staple, if you don't know where to go, Milwaukee's always been really good to me. Um, so here's a good example of that. Thank you.